your mind a repository of things. There are things in your head waiting dormant until you call on them to be produced by way of speech, electronic typewriter, musical instrument, or artist's medium. In order to prove to you what I mean, I will produce for you a list of things that come from none other than my mind. Bull, the male cow, car battery, cat lice, rope, mortgage, rose, and or lilies, Macbeth, the play, not the planet, pottery, black jelly beans, rice pudding, wrench, 16 millimeter, a red button, mule, pastries. Now I ask you, where did these things come from? Not one of them was triggered by a direct and recent experience. However, they lie dormant, put there years ago upon my first contact with them. So next time, think about what is in your mind and how you might use it. I like drawing and painting, so I think I would draw a bull with a wrench eating a bowl of rice pudding. P.S. I am not British, but if you read this in an English accent, it sounds more proper and scientific. Thank you. There are things in your head waiting dormant until you call upon them to be produced by way of speech, electronic typewriter, musical instrument or artist medium. In order to prove to you what I mean, I will produce for you a list of things that come from none other than my mind. Bull, the male cow, car battery, cat lice, rope, mortgage, rose and or lilies, Macbeth, the play, not the planet, pottery, black jelly beans, rice pudding, wrench, 16 millimeter, a red button, mule, pastries. Now I ask you, where did these items come from? Not one of them was triggered by a direct and recent experience. However, they lie dormant, put their years ago upon my first contact with them. So next time, think about what is in your mind and how you might use it. I like drawing and painting, so I think I'll draw a bull with a wrench eating a bowl of rice pudding. Yes, I'm not British. But if you read this in an English accent, it sounds more proper and scientific. Thank you.